Hey babies, so today I am here to talk to you guys about my toddler summer must-haves. Now I meant to do this video last year, but I never got around to it. And I'm kind of glad because this summer I have had two toddlers and I feel like I really know what I need this time around. So if you're new to my channel or my videos, I have a two and a half year old Sophie and a one year old Remy, both girls, both very eager to get outside and play. So I'm just gonna go through the different stuff that we've been using for the past month, month and a half. And and I will have as much as I can linked down below for you guys as always. The first thing that is right here looking at me is a thermal tote. We have used this so much more than I would have thought and I really didn't think it was one of those things you needed but we have been using it a ton. We've been eating a lot at the park when we go play and a thermal tote is just amazing especially this one that's this size because it holds drinks and food for everybody and I love that. A thermal tote is a must have for us. I did want to mention clothes really quickly. I do not like to spend more than five dollars on each article of clothing when it comes to summertime. Both the girls were due for some summer clothes this year. I got them all from Walmart, uh, Carter's, and one thing each from Target because I had to. Now with Carter's, believe it or not, between sales and my rewards, I got everything under that $5. It was amazing. And well, I guess I should say except for a pair of shoes. But that really worked out and that's how I like to shop at Carter's and for Target it was just a pair of jean shorts that are more of like a cotton material that I love to have for the playground. They're dark, they don't stain, amazing and I had to pay $7 each for them but that's okay with me, I think they're great. I get a lot of the tees and the tanks and the shorts that I don't care if they get money and all that good stuff from Walmart. I just feel like clothes in the summertime are gonna get food dirt and sunscreen on them so why pay a lot now i feel the same way about shoes i don't like to spend a lot just because they grow out of them so quickly i can hardly get more than one summer's use out of shoes so i shopped for tennis shoes at walmart they held up really good still doing great but the type of sandal that i want to write wanted to recommend to you guys were these bump toe sandals. These are Sophie's. These are from Oshkosh Bagosh. And as you can see, it has this rubber toe that just hooks over and protects their toes from skidding, tripping, all that stuff. I ran into that problem a lot last year with Sophie. She just had so many little cuts and stuff from tripping and falling when she was in open-toed sandals. Not with these. She can run her little heart out. She trips and falls all the time. She's a clumsy little girl. But these have been amazing. I will say that mulch can get through to them, but it's really not that bad. Sophie likes them because she can do the Velcro all on her own. And Remy also has a pair, but I got them from Walmart and they are holding up really well. A couple of things that I don't have to show you because they are in Sophie's room and she's napping, but a swim diaper and some kind of flotation device. Now, a couple summers ago, I had mentioned in my baby summer must-haves, which I will have linked for you guys, but I mentioned in that video that we were using a float. Well, obviously, Sophie's older. She doesn't like to stay in a float. She wants to be in the water. So last year, we bought her this life vest type thing that had a crotch belt that went underneath of it. Got it at Babies R Us. We liked it. It was a little big at the time, so we had to make it work. But I think it will be a lot better this year. Now, with Remy... She, I know, is going to be a total float girl. She's not going to be super eager to get in the water, so that's what we're going to do. I will have the life vest that we own linked down below since I don't have to show it to you guys. Obviously, a swim diaper is a must-have during the summertime, although I will say if my girls are just going out to play in the water table or something like that, I just let them hang out in their regular diapers. Up next are a couple of items that I have to have at all times. If I even start to get low, I run out and I get more, but it is spray sunscreen and spray bug spray. I'm not really sure if there's a different form of bug spray, but still. I went through so many different types of sunscreen. I've had the stick, I've had the squeeze tube, I've had it all. And when it comes to toddlers who don't wanna stand still and they don't want you to touch them, they just wanna go do what they wanna do, spray sunscreen is the way to go. Now this is the honest, I think it's, yep, 30 SPF. I've never had a problem with it. I really like it. It has a lock up top, so it's cool to put in my diaper bag. It's not going to get everywhere. We absolutely love this kind. Same with the bug spray. We use the Honest Co. I haven't had to use this a ton, thankfully, but when I have, it seems to work pretty good. 
I totally forgot to mention swimsuits when I was talking about clothes, but they're basically the same way for us. Obviously, Remy gets Sophie's hand-me-downs, but we basically just shop wherever we feel like for swimsuits, just as long as they don't cost a lot, because, again, I can hardly get more than one summer when it comes to Sophie getting a new one. So when they are done playing in the water, done playing at the pool, whatever it is, if they're sweaty from the park, this hair detangler is the best. Sorry, there's this like a super glare on it, but this Paul Mitchell one is amazing. It's what I use for Sophie. It leaves her hair super soft. It makes it a thousand times easier to run your brush through it. This thing never leaves my stroller basket. And I mean never, unless I'm washing it. This is a car seat and stroller e-cloth, which I've done a total review on all of my different e-cloths, and I'll have that linked for you guys. But this is more specifically the car seat and stroller one. I love this. My girls eat in the stroller. I can't tell you how often, obviously, when we're out and playing, but my stroller gets so disgusting from it. There's crumbs everywhere. There's water that mashes in with the crumbs and it creates this weird paste that's, oh, it's disgusting. But this is amazing. I use this every time I go to put the stroller into our trunk. I wipe it down real quick. It is just so great. It seems like we eat out a lot more in the summertime or we have more functions to go out to. So because of that, I find that I have to stay on my game when it comes to entertainment for my kids. And that comes in the form of play packs. Now what I did is I got like three different play packs and I put them in this little thing. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. This was around during Easter time, I believe. So it's not something I can link for you guys, but play packs are hands down amazing. There are those little 99 cent things you can find on little end caps. They have a coloring book, crayons, and stickers in them. Oh my gosh, they entertain my kids like no other. I keep them in my diaper bag at all times because they are a total and utter lifesaver. The last bit of stuff I have to show you is all snack and drink related. First up are our snack cups. I don't know what home of a toddler that doesn't have these, but these obviously are amazing. We use them a ton. With that, I use this little leash. This is the brand. I will say that these tend to be cheaper in store versus online if you want to get one, but this is just made so they cannot throw that out and it's not going to hit the ground. No more playing toss the snack cup. It just has this little um, grippy side that you just hook whatever you want. You adjust the Velcro on it. It does have an adjustable length on it and then you hook this to whatever you want, whether it's your baby carrier, stroller, shopping cart, whatever. I cannot live without these because my girls are always throwing their stuff. And for Remy, I found that that snack cup is still a little hard for her to work some days. So I've been putting our snap and shop on our stroller bar. We have a Juvie scooter times two. It's amazing. And I love that I can just snap this right on the bar. As you can see, I've done a full review of this, but it's awesome because it just opens up where we can have all her snacks and I can put the cover back on and put it in my diaper bag. So this has come in handy a ton. I've also scooted it over in the middle of the uh, stroller bar when we went to places like the Children's Museum, Zoo, places like that so both the girls can just have snacks when they want them and I'm not digging through a diaper bag. Next up is water bottles. Sophie's favorite for the past couple years, I believe, is the Contigo Striker bottle. I know so many different people who love this. It's because it is really great. It does allow you to clean all the nooks and can crannies. And that's a little fast flowing for Remy. I mix their names up all the time. Who else is with me? Anyways, so for Remy, we had to get something that's a little bit slower flow. This is a Dr. Brown's sippy cup, I believe. I think it's actually a trainer cup, but it's amazing. It's just a straw cup works really well. Both my girls like them. However, I am in the market for some stainless steel options, so if you know of any and you like them, please let me know in the comments below because I want to check some out. The last snack related thing that I have is pouches. We cannot live without those things in the summertime. Whether we are running late to something, the kids didn't want to eat wherever we were eating and now they're hungry or they need a snack or whatever we happen to be eating is too messy for Remy. All of those situations, those pouches come in handy. I like the Plum brand. They're organic. They're non-GMO. They have great flavors. My girls love them. Even at two and a half, Sophie will suck one of those down in a heartbeat. 
And then the last bit of stuff is things that we have at home to play outside with. I mean, we all like going to the zoo, children's museums, all that stuff, but sometimes you need to stay home and rock what you got. So that is something that we've been focusing on this summer. We are trying to use everything we have at home, enjoying our time here when we don't necessarily have the time or means to go somewhere extravagant. So I've been paying close attention to the stuff that my girls have been playing with the most outside wise and I put that in a little list list for you guys. I'm going to have it separately linked down below because obviously I can't hold it up for you. That way if you're curious about what brand or type that we have, you can just click that link. It'll be exactly what we own. So the two things on our deck that get the most use are the water table and the swing. Our deck is actually covered. It has its own roof. So we have the swing installed and it sits on the right side of the deck and then our water table is on the left side. Sophie will go to town having all kinds of fun on the water table while I'm pushing Remy in the swing and it's just perfect. The girls could spend hours out there. Although of course, Sophie will sit in the swing, Remy will play at the water table, everybody loves everything out there. When we are not doing that, I will say that we've taken quite a few walks to different playgrounds around here and we love using this wagon. My grandma got it for Remy for her birthday and it has been amazing. I love the little canopy on it because it'll shade them from the sun, obviously. It also does come with like a couple little trays in case we wanted to give them snacks to eat in there. It's really, really great. Now, a few things that we do in our driveway quite a bit is the Little Tykes push car, a bubble machine, and chalk. Normally what we do is we sit Remy in the Little Tykes push car and someone will be pushing her around while someone's playing with chalk with Sophie all while the bubble machine is going. I mean literally do not underestimate the power of a bubble machine. My kids go bonkers over it all the time asking me bubbles 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 mommy. So that is something we cannot live without. Sophie has a field day with the chalk. She thinks it's so cool that you can just color all over the driveway and both the girls absolutely love the little tykes car they even got to coloring it with the chalk they did their own little paint job it was really cute but those are different things that we use outside that we've been having a ton of fun with that is everything for our summer must-haves let me know in a comment down below what your guys's are because i'd be really interested and like i said if you have any recommendations for a stainless steel water bottle please let me know i'm definitely on the hunt for those but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching!